let's talk about some ways to store ceramics projects. You can apply this whether you are working in the classroom or at home. I like to use a wear board like this in the classroom or um, for my personal work. Make sure that you get a harder type of wood or plywood. Don't get a wood that's too soft because it will mold because we're dealing with moisture. When I'm done for the day, put your piece on your wear board. Depending on the stage, either just spritz your piece with water or cover your piece with a damp paper towel and then put in a plastic bag. Make sure you tuck the plastic bag underneath so that your environment is more airtight. If you need to add a little bit more moisture to your environment, you can use a small container with water and a sponge inside. Put this on your wear board and then seal this up. This will add more humidity to your environment. This is a hard piece of wood that is covered with canvas. I used a staple gun to staple the canvas onto the board and I pulled it really tightly with the corners. I use this one for red clay so you can see that it's pretty stained. I wouldn't want to put my porcelain on this. You can go to Home Depot and find some discounted wood scraps at the back section of lumber. If you're at home and maybe you don't have a wear board, you can try using a piece of cardboard. This will just be a surface so that you can move your clay around, but it's not really sturdy, so do be very, very careful. Because this cardboard is so porous, you don't want it to get soggy, wrap it in a piece of plastic. This is actually a bag that clay came in. You want to be really careful that when you put your piece on the plastic and then spray it with water, all of that water is going to sit on the plastic and the base of your piece is going to get really soggy. To avoid that, put some paper towels on the plastic and then store your piece. Again, be really careful when you're handling this since the cardboard is not as strong as the plywood. In the classroom, I order 22 inch by 30 inch watercolor paper and it comes protected in this plastic. I save these to also use to store projects in. You could also use a dry cleaning bag. Just know that that plastic is a lot thinner, so you might need to double it up. Plastic is slightly porous. The heavier the plastic, the more airtight your clay environment will be. Another option is to store your work on bats. These are used for throwing. There are different types of bats. Some are plastic and some are plaster or wood. This is a plastic bat. Since this is a plastic bat, it is more non-porous. You shouldn't have problems with things sticking. Again, you wouldn't want to spray this piece too much and have water sitting at the base, which would get a soggy bottom. The nice thing about storing work on plastic bats is that it does help maintain the humidity of your clay in this environment. Another option you could try is a plastic container with a lid. It's helpful to add some paper towels at the bottom of this so that your piece isn't sticking to the bottom. And again, you don't wanna have all that moisture sitting at the bottom of your clay environment. The lidded box is fairly airtight, so it does maintain the moisture of your piece very well. It's also helpful to add the water container with a damp sponge inside to maintain the moisture. Another option to store projects is using a damp box. A damp box is a plastic container that has plaster poured inside of it. Be careful you don't have any pieces of plaster that will chip off in your damp box and get into your clay. These big bags are also really helpful to store work in because they seal and they're really large. If you were doing something tall, they're easy to store your piece in. Another option for a wear board is to use a cement board. Hardy Backer is a type that you can find at a hardware store. You can also use a piece of drywall. If you're using drywall, be sure to tape all four sides off with duct tape or with a wider painter's tape. You don't want the sides of the drywall getting into your clay. Hopefully this helped you figure out some different options to store your work. Let me know if you have any questions or other tips.